So people, the hitting zone, where is it and what is it? In this video, I'm going to show you the area of the golf swing, one of the secret moves of the downswing, where the great players of all time, past and present, are. And they're all the same. People, the closer you get to this position, the better you're going to hit the golf ball. Now, we've got the Mo Norman drill coming up in the video later on. I know you're going to love that one. And we've got the generator move. We've got some great information in this video. We're looking at evidence-based instruction. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. World-class golf instruction. We're reaching so many people, improving so many people. All right, let's get started on a fantastic video that I know is going to improve your ball striking immediately. Now, before we move on to some fantastic drills and exercises, it makes sense to have a look at the facts. Following great information, evidence-based instruction is the fastest way to improve your ball striking. Let's have a look now. So people, right, just take a moment to have a look at the shadow at impact, the shadow effect, the hitting zone. Have a look at the leg here of Adam Scott, the right leg, the trail leg of Adam Scott and Xander Schoifert. Now we're gonna have a quick look at some of the best players ever here evidence-based instruction. Before we have a look at some drills, we're going to have a look at the Mo Norman drill. We've got uh, the generator move, but just have a look at this for a second here. As they lower down, shift forwards and move under. Now we've got some really cool drills. Look at that position here. It, what's remarkable is when we look at why are we learning this position when all the great players of all time and, and modern day players are in this position? I mean, the closer you get to it, the better you hit. Seriously, the further away you are from this position, like, the worse you're going to hit it. Have a look at Tommy Fleetwood. What an iron player this guy is. It's been great to see him, you know, playing some great golf again. And so let's go through a couple of players here. We're going to have a look at, we got Mo Norman. And uh, what a ball striker. Probably the straightest hitter ever. You've got the bent knees at impact. You've got the lowering down. You've got McElroy, who's just been playing so good. Look at these positions, and they're identical. Close, as I said, the closer we get to these positions, the better we hit the golf ball. Now, let's have a peek at some of the amateur plays. We're going to talk about, look at why do they lower down, what's the advantages, because it really does make ball striking so much easier when we're getting ourselves down and into these positions. And when we are looking at the world's best ever players, you know, we have to. We have to look at the world's best players and say, all right, look, this is where they all are, and I want to get closer to this. I want to reach my potential. Let's have a quick look at some amateur plays before we have a look at some fantastic drills and exercises, stay tuned. So people, right, let's have a look at impact here. And unfortunately, we've seen this with a lot of amateur players. See the top of their heads here. Right? You can see that they're actually further away from the ball, or taller than where they started at. And look, there's not much shaft lean. There's no lateral movement through the wall. So they're not getting close to this hitting zone. We see often some time movement up in the back, swing some movement here. This is what we're seeing a lot with a lot of players standing up in and around impact. Now, measuring your shaft lean, PJ average, 10 to 12 degrees of shaft lean, great place to be. We're seeing a lot of people, there's only three degrees of shaft lean. And the gentleman on this side is pretty much straight up and down, pretty much vertical, not much going on there. So you're going to hit fat shots and thin shots from there. And this is where the online lessons, I've been able to help so many people with online training. You Online training, send me a swing, you get a compressed email, goes for 15 to 30 minutes, you get a tailored drills and exercises, you get unlimited WhatsApp contact messaging with me getting people uh, on the path. It's in conjunction with 1,300 videos and what class calls instructions. So guys, helping a lot of people. Now let's have a look at some great drills and exercise. Get us inside this hitting zone before we take a look at the Mo Norman drill. Guys, some great information heading your way. So people, right, forwards, down and under. The move that we're seeing, which is the great ball strikers, let's have a look how we can feel this. Why are they moving down and why are they breaking their knees? I thought we were taught to turn and keep your spine angle. What a, what a sentence of disaster that one was. Keep your spine angle. All the golf trainers wanted to say that one, didn't they? Now, we know the tour average is around three inches of movement down. And we can see on that video that they're moving down. We see that they're bending their knees as well. And it looks pretty good, doesn't it? They're not getting pulled off the shot. They're not getting ripped off the shot. They're not twisting too early. They're not getting their toes pulled off the ground. They're not coming out of it with big block shots and flip shots. So this move is simply this. We get to the top of the swing and we have forwards and down and we're actually lowering the head. We're going to have a look at that in just a second. And then when we get into impact here, we're, we're releasing it underneath. So when we get to this position here where the arms are around about parallel to the ground, if I get a line drawn down the side of my ribs and back, it's pointed on the outside of the foot. All right, this is a great move. 
we've looked at this move a lot with the hands and the thighs where we go left hand left hip right hand right knee and we shorten this side it's like the uppercut punch we're moving forwards but we're moving under and we're moving down why do we move down why do these great players move down it does a couple of things one of the things is getting your tilts correct so that when we're turning at high speed it helps get our right hip under the left so your right hips around seven to eight centimeters under the left and this is an interesting area in the swing here where we're seeing people turn to level closing up the gap getting this to move under and down and forwards now when we look at great ball strikers so many with when they're hitting iron shots their head on average is actually you know with the mid to high irons a couple of centimeters further forwards at impact than when they start at the address position depending sometimes with players that have it, it, it heaps and heaps of lag they'll back up a little bit but that's the important thing to know is with your driver you're going to be around five to ten centimeters further right with your head and down at impact because we're hitting it on the way up but this area here when we're looking at moving down right the main reason is once i put my hands forwards it shortens the radius of the swing so when i get then down and here i get i can get the shaft lean now unfortunately we're seeing so many people stand up on it now some of that has to do that's the reason we put worldclassgolf.com together it's got 1300 videos 85 separate series we've got the hands and wrists series we've got online lessons through me and there's a lot of information there on how to prove your hands and your wrist but to get your body getting inside this hitting zone of moving down and under and forwards there's all sorts of feels pictures and visual effects that we can use world class golf instructors improving golfers between four and eleven shots your swing analyst video is the same as this youtube format except with your swing on the screen it goes between 15 to 30 minutes with tailored drills and exercises, a higher level of instruction at a cheaper price. 1,300 videos, 75 separate series. Reach out to us in the chat room and get on the path of playing your best golf. So guys, as we're moving through the golf ball, as we're moving forwards, down and under, what we're going to be doing as we get into the halfway stage or the latter part of the through swing, it's feeling like the chest and the shoulders almost then work backwards. And I'm just using this... Uh, aluminium rod just to illustrate that I, I use it when I teach sometimes I just hold it next to people's heads and things so that you know I don't get hit with a wild swing <laughs> so, but have a look at this as we're moving we're moving forwards down and under and around this part of the swing when the arms around parallel to the ground you really get a feeling of your chest then working back and up and this is a great way to help us get down and under without moving forwards with the head too much we want to be able to get ourselves to extend a little bit in the swing so when you just see that movement down forwards and under and this part of the swing here really trying to get your left pec stretch this left pec up and into a finish position here and this is going to help a lot of you people be able to move forwards down and under and then get that extension back up so it's not going to compromise your path too much and your angle of attack so guys right let's have a look at the mo norman drill now what an amazing move this guy had down through the golf ball how the left leg was bent and how he lowered down and how he dropped and we're going to have a look at this leg work. We've seen it with, you know, we've seen so many great players with Adam Scott and Garcia. And we'll just talk about this for a second, because this is a great way to feel this movement around impact and just after impact. So what we do, and obviously we've got to lower down, but what we do is we pop the club over opposite your left foot. Now I want to get a compression line here, meaning I want the, the shaft and the lead arm in one line, right? Now then we're going to move laterally and lower down. So when you're in this position and we, we get a line down here from the outside of this lead leg, I want it around four or five inches in front of the golf ball. Okay, so we're getting the right knee to cover the golf ball. This is the position we're in and, and you know, and we've lowered down. Okay, so you get into this position, start again, pop it over opposite that lead foot we're going to shift across and we're going to lower down you got this elbow in and just stay there for a second and you feel like just look down at your legs feel the pressure on your foot here because you never get ripped off the shot from here all right and this is a great way to get your right leg your left knee into such pure position once you stand in positions for longer 20 seconds 30 seconds 40 seconds and you come back 
and then you give it a hit, you move through into these positions and I could actually feel a little bit more sinking down. I loved that feeling, a little bit more sinking down, a really solid left leg. As my Norman said, the left toe takes the hit, he never gets pulled off the shot. And you know, when we're looking at some of the modern day players, they're able to get this right leg out a long way. We've seen Justin Thomas, but things moving this right leg out, but really having to bend their bodies into insane positions that normal people can't. And even these players are finding it difficult to time the swing with these type of actions. The best ball strikers of all time haven't had footwork like that. When we've seen Nicholas and Hogan and Mickey Wright and Mo Norman, even looking at players like Fred Couples and great footwork, Lee Trevino. Guys, this is the way to hit a golf ball more effectively. So a great drill, this one really, getting into the position, club opposite your lead foot, bump forward so that that hip is around four inches out in front, lower down and feel that position. You've got a bit of shaft laying there and then come back. And because you've just, you're just in that position, finish your swing and you'll feel a sinking, a lowering down, getting into the hitting zone. A great way to look at uh, the Mo Norman swing, moving down and through impact, that lowering and that left leg bending and staying in the shot, not getting pulled off the shot. So guys, I've got some good compression on that one, right guys, this move through the ball, just adding on to the Mo Norman drill. When you get down and through impact, if you've sunk down enough, what you can do is when you move through the golf ball here, I've just got the hands just outside the left leg, just see if you could touch underneath that lead knee with your right hand. And this is just going to be supplying you with enough movement downwards. And you can just get in there and swing through and you'll start to feel the bends that you need to be able to get in that position. So this is a good little reminder as well is get up to the top, you know, moving down and through and under. And if you can just touch on the underneath part of that knee there, you're getting the sufficient bends that you need and you'll feel this right side just shortening somewhat as you're rotating. And this is a good checkpoint to get yourself inside or extremely close to this hitting zone. So people, right, let's have a look at uh, how we can generate the correct leg work, foot work, hip work, lateral shift, the move into the downswing, the generator. That's why we call it this right ankle, this right knee, this right foot. Great footwork, leg work, knee work. Let's have a look at Max Homo, one of the best swings in world golf. Have a look at this angle from the knee down into the foot, into the ankle, 64 degrees. Look at the amateur on this side, 84 degrees. 20 degree difference here, people. And, you know, when we're taking a look at many of the greats, and I, I love to look at the great players. Look at Lee Trevino here landing back, right smack back down the original shaft lane. Look at that right foot. Now, a lot of people seem to think that it's not a powerful move. We've got DeChambeau, who has pretty much everyone fooled, really some of the best footwork. What's he's had just recently? He shot 58 and 61, 61 58, lowest score of all time on the PGA Tour, or on, the, on tour. Look at that right foot, and that's hitting a drive at high speed. <clears throat> and they just get your knees and your legs and your hips in the purpose. He's got everyone fooled because of this move here. But really, for me, the best footwork in the world with a driver here. Let's take a peek at uh, some of the other great players here. Mickey Wright, who Ben Hogan said the best swing that he'd ever seen. Watch this right foot move through the golf ball. Look at that right ankle moving in. We saw Nicholas just like massive in greens and regulation. What a ball striker this guy was. And we can see this move. Look at that right foot and the spikes coming in. So people, I mean, looking at this move, it, we're seeing a lot of the modern day players and people suggesting that, you know, they have to move like to get power, but DeChambeau is it further than all of them. I mean, that move there, it, it's still not a great move, is it? I mean, and then you've got to bend your body into a position like this, which is perhaps, you know, arguably not the best move for your body. And I don't think normal people out there can do it. Let's have a look at uh, a simple way we can feel and work on this move. It's just such an important move for your golf swing. So guys, the generator and moving through the ball effectively, the best ball strike is the right foot, the right knee, how it's moving in. It's just such an amazing move. And when we're seeing players move their right foot effectively through the golf ball, keeping the knees really inside your toe line here as we're moving through the golf ball, it's a great way to get your hips to move 
in a much more effective fashion. When we're seeing this right foot or this right leg come out, we're seeing the shoulders turn to level. And from the top of the swing, I mean, you, a lot of people believing that, you know, you have to really turn hard to hit it a long way. But when we're looking at someone like DeChambeau, and we're seeing with the drive of the footwork just in phenomenal positions here. It really goes to show that there is that's helping us getting down and closer into this hitting zone. Mickey Wright, great ball strikers, guys. This drill here, what we do, simply just get to the top of the swing. Jack Nicholas talked about it. Jack Nicholas, Jack Nicholas, his drill was to get his feet to work in probably probably the best, maybe the best footwork of all time at impact, Lee Trevino, another one, and getting into a position here where it just, it just makes ball striking so much easier. You can't hit it when you're ripped off the shot. So by getting to the top of your swing, what you're looking at doing is simply rolling forwards, getting onto the inside of this foot, and you'll just look down at your right leg and see where that right knee is. It's just a great way to, to practice working with your legs in the position that the knees are staying in. I can't stress this enough. It, you can hit the ball such a long way by doing this. So guys, work on that right foot, the generator. Stop it from moving out directly towards the toes here. We want to keep this right leg working in, squeezing your knees together and getting up into a finished position where your thighs are pressed together perfect footwork means really you have perfect balance and it has such an enormous effect on the path and all your tilts and all your turns and your impact position.